Joining me now is Republican Congresswoman Kathy McMorris Rogers of Washington State and Democratic Congresswoman Carolyn Maloney of New York. Thank you both for joining us. Thank you for having us. Let us start out with a topic that I said at the end of the week, okay, enough, and that is the whole, either the mommy wars or the war on women or whatever you want to call it. And let me start with you. Do you think the Republicans, we know the Republicans in, in the form of Mitt Romney has a 20-point gap between the women uh, who support President Obama and the women who support Mitt Romney. What do you think is wrong uh, that, that accounts for that 20-point gap? As the Republicans are able to rally around our, our nominee, Governor Romney, I believe you're going to see that gap close. How? It, uh, because the policies that Governor Romney are going, is promoting, they're, they're the policies that are going to help women succeed in this country. And, and all people in this country succeed. Uh, President Obama's policies are the ones that are failing Americans, failing women. And you saw in 2010 where the Republicans actually won the women's vote. It was the first time since Reagan. Uh, in some ways, you could say that uh, uh, it was American women that stood up and said, President Obama, we don't like your policies. And whether it's health care and the fact that women make 85 percent of the health care decisions, the economy, the debt, you've seen where women are really uh, they're rejecting the policies of President Obama. Uh, Congressman Maloney, it, you know, it is true that, in fact, the, the Republicans made inroads in 2010. And what, but what we've seen is that since January, uh, where Mitt Romney trailed President Obama among f female voters by 5 percent, it's grown to 20 percent. What do you think accounts for that? I believe that women will turn out in droves to vote for President Obama in this election because they realize how much is at stake. And because they, women do tend to vote Democratic since the early 90s, I think. For good reason, because of the policies that uh, Democrats put forward to protect women, children, and families. Uh, when President Obama took office, this country was shedding 700,000 jobs a month. We are now in the 25th month of job creation and job growth. And when you look at the Republican initiatives, not only on the federal level, but in the state houses across this country, their attempts to roll back and assault the rights and, and programs and services of women is absolutely stunning in its scope and appalling in its indifference to women. Mm -hmm. And to pretend that that does not exist is to double down on that indifference to women. Let me move you on because there's a couple of subjects in the news that I wanted to get your take on. Uh, first of all, we have a, a new poll out, Washington Post, ABC News poll. Now, this is among Republicans and Republican-leaning independents. And the question was, do you think the war in Afghanistan has been worth fighting or not? Fifty-five percent of Republicans say wasn't is not worth the cost. Now, we know that Democrats uh, turned sour on this war a while back. So now an overwhelming uh, majority, it would seem to me, of the public is against this war. We're now having these bomb explosions in Kabul today. We have the specter of the embassy sort of hunkered down there. Is it time for you all to begin to push for an earlier end of the war than the president envisions? Well, it, it's been a, a tough, long, you know, tough 10 years in Afghanistan. I think it's important that we remember the reason that we're in Afghanistan was it goes back to 9 and 11 and the attacks that were made on the terrible attacks that were made on this country. Uh, we've seen certainly some successes when I talk to our military men and women. They can point to the successes and, you know, think about the opportunities for women right now in Afghanistan. And I think it's so important that we continue to stand for, for human rights for women all around this world. And that's a key to defeating terrorists. Uh, and I don't think that we can. Uh, ignore the fact that there are those uh, terrorists, Al Qaeda, that continue to threat, threaten America and 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 threaten freedom around the world. And so, uh, I I have supported President Obama and his approach uh, in in winding down and making that smooth transition in Afghanistan. But I, I think everyone's getting tired Congress of the long war. If if I could get you to answer quickly, because I want to move you on to one more subject. But is it time to push for a quicker removal of those troops than the president wants? I, I certainly do believe so, but we have to plan for what we're going to leave there. I, I uh, agree with uh, former Secretary of State Kissinger that we should try to get all of the countries around Afghanistan to come together and agree that this will be a neutral zone and keep peace in that area. We have to have a plan when we leave of, of the stability and the continuation of stability and anti-terrorism. We have to remember why we went in there in the first place. And, and for the two of you, we also have this breaking news about 
the Secret Service. So they had to pull back 11 members that have been down on Columbia with the, with the president doing uh, some of the advance work. They were not his body men, but they, were, and they went ahead of him. They had to pull them back. The Secret Service uh, said this in a statement. The nature of the allegations against these 11, coupled with a zero tolerance policy on personal misconduct, resulted in the Secret Service taking the decisive action to relieve these individuals of their assignments. So they sent new ones in, brought uh, the ones uh, down there home. Uh, there's allegations of uh, you know, engaging with prostitutes, nothing illegal uh, as far as we know right now. What do you make of that? Should Congress look into it? I know you're on the Oversight Committee. I think we should look into it, but I believe we should always stand up for American values. And one area we have worked together is in combating sex trafficking. Mm -hmm. And the leadership that our country has taken in raiding countries on how they respond to protecting innocent girls and boys uh, from being abused is, is admirable. But uh, we have to stand up for our values and, and, and uh, the laws of our country. How big a problem is this for the administration, or this an uh, isolated, we're taking care of it kind of well, thing? Well, it, it's certainly unfortunate. We never like to see these kind of situations. Um, we need to hold these people to the highest standards, the highest ethical standards, and uh, we, ne we need to look into exactly what happened and take the appropriate action. I wish we had more time. I hope you'll come back. Congresswoman Kathy McMorris-Rogers and, of course, Congresswoman Carolyn Maloney, appreciate your time this morning. We thank you, you for not having mm -hmm. to ask the question, where are the women? <laughs> so you are bringing <laughs> women you. into your show. We so try. Thank you. We